Hi, it's Tim here from How You Do It, my Google channel. This is the first in a series of videos that I want to publish about uh, how to get a lot of productivity out of your iPhone. Uh, this is my new iPhone, my second one. Unbelievable device compared to the first one that I had. Um, so useful, in fact, that I would have to say this is almost my primary computer. I use it more than my other two computers. So um, anyway, in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up Google Calendars on your phone so that it synchronizes in real time at any time with your real Google Google Calendar. All right, so let's get started. So here we are on the home screen of my iPhone 4S. And what we're going to do is add the Google Calendar and Google Contacts onto the, onto the device. And uh, so the way we start is we go to Settings, and we'll go to Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. And you'll see an Add Account. So we will add an account. And then we go to Microsoft Exchange. And then we fill out all of these fields. So remember that it is, it, it is essential to have a Google Gmail account before we can run through this procedure. So if you haven't got a Gmail account, very simple to set up. Just go to Google's homepage and set up your account from there. All right, so now on to the next step. Okay, we filled out those fields and we click Next. And here we're going to fill in uh, the server, which is going to be m.google.com. And we can ignore the domain and we need a username and a password. So we'll do that right now. Okay, now we filled out those. Now remember the server is m.google.com. You can leave your domain blank and then uh, underneath the keyboard here we've set our username and password. So we click Next. And it looks like it went through. So we click Save. Good. Now just to make sure that everything is working, we'll go and see if the calendar and the contacts have uh, populated themselves. So we, let's go to the calendar. And uh, sometimes you have to actually choose the calendar. Yeah, you see it hasn't been chosen, so we just put a check there and click Done. And there everything is. It's getting yanked right off the internet, right off my live Google Calendar in real time. So that's, uh, that's awfully handy. If I make an appointment by adding a plus sign here on my Google phone, it will appear in my Google Calendar and vice versa. So that's really great. Now then, if we go back to contacts, let's see if those are there. Yes, they are. You see, so that's all pulled right off the live internet and uh, it updates in real time both ways. Very, very handy. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful and please uh, feel free to leave a comment and uh, Subscribe to my video channel and you'll see plenty more videos coming your way.